Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. The road to Selland continued tonight in the Central Section Boys Basketball Playoffs. The quarterfinals took place with a chance to advance to the semifinals on Wednesday. We begin with a 4-5 track matchup. Clovis East visiting Clovis North. The home Broncos opened up on a 7-2 run. 6-6, Terry Miller making it look easy out there. But coming this way, Timberwolves senior Shano Roberts fights for the bucket to tie it up at 13. The Broncos were just too tough, though. Sammy Alsaber drains the tray as they win 73-58. Broncos will travel to face top-seeded Clovis West on Wednesday. The Golden Eagles took care of Edison 86-68, led by Cole Anderson, who dropped 25 tonight. All right, to Bullard High School we go. It was the battle of the night. St. Joseph out of Santa Maria taking on two-seeded Bullard. Pick it up in the third. Milton Burnett is going to spot up for the long three. Got it. They go up 54-39. In transition, Carter Anderson finds Burnett. Nice catch and shoot from the corner. It rattles in. Knights up 21. But he can also do this. Goes off glass for the bucket and one. Bullard wins 78 53 to advance and will host Bakersfield in the semis. In Division II, top seeded Memorial hosting number nine Roosevelt. Quincy Pondexter with front row seats to see this one. Second quarter, Rough Riders Willie Bradley is going to go baseline, goes high off glass. And one to pull within 12 points. On the other end, Panthers freshman Joseph Hunter comes up short. Take a look at this. He follows, it puts it away. And what about this defense? Preston Kilbert picks the pocket, takes it the other way, gets the fingertip roll to fall. Nice play by the sophomore. Memorial was led by number four, though. Jalen Green had 42 points as they win 94 68. Panthers would host Independence in the semis. Fresno State men's basketball will face one of their toughest challenges tomorrow in Albuquerque when they face New Mexico. The Bulldogs beat the Lobos earlier this season by 12 at home, but playing them at the pit is a different story. It's one of the most difficult venues in all of college basketball. You know, 16,000 every night, you know, win, lose, or draw, you know, and it's loud and you're in altitude, you know. So, and they always have really good teams and really good coaches. So that goes, that goes along with it. The Bulldog women will get set to host the Lobos tomorrow. They're coming off the seven-point loss at Boise State. Right now, the women are sitting in fourth place, two games behind New Mexico. I think we just need to be more consistent. Um, we can't use that we're young excuse anymore, and I think going down the stretch, it's going to get tough. It's going to get hard. Your body's going to hurt, but I think we need to push through and be consistent in the last few games. The Diamond Dogs had to put the tarp on the field and will have to wait another day before they start the season. They postponed tonight's game and is expected to play a doubleheader tomorrow beginning at 12.05 against Utah Valley. Shout out to Adrian for that video. Also, Bulldogs softball split their doubleheader today, beating Long Beach State 6-3. Guys, back to you. Julia, thank you.